Let me go back to the tape because I heard you well, say it's bullying. I'm saying it's one of the reasons now. Okay. okay. I said it was the reason. I'm saying it's one of the reasons. And Other the stops things, are down. We do a, we do a whole a so series the, the, of... What's, what's weird to me, whenever we talk about any policy of the police department, there are uh, demonstrable things that we can look at to say why this is working. The only way, the only thing we can't do that is to stop questioning the free. So first, you said that it was to get guns off the street. We're getting less guns off the street. Then you said it was for shooting. That's a good sign. Yes, but it's not because it's stop question at first. And well, then, uh, that, wait, let me finish. What, what, and then we, we said, then we said that we were going to get the shootings under control. Except, for the most part, they've gone up and down, stayed relatively the same. Are down to record load. Yes, they are, this year. But if you look past well, the decade, well, if you, that's, they're that's, down again this year. If you look in the past decade, they've gone up, they've gone down. If you do average, they stayed relatively the same. They have gone down last year. And I'm thankful for that. But so have the stops. Now, if the shootings up and down have stayed relatively the same, then you move on to what's to get the murder rate down. The problem is, the same amount of people in the year are getting shot. They're surviving. No, when, when do you get this? Look when at your own statistics. Past, let's do an average of the past decade. Things have stayed mostly the same with the stops. There is no correlation. And the stops have gone down this year as opposed to going up. So everything is moving yeah, there is to the no direction. Quarter, there is no number. I didn't mention quarter commissioner. I didn't mention the quarter commissioner. I'll mention it to you. Yeah, so but if we're that, saying that, if we're saying the stops are working if the stops are working, they are going down now, you along with the working. shootings you know uh, with the murders. I don't know the word. I don't know when we when we use them properly works. But I do want to say this, because I'll say it again. I'm willing to cancel the rest of my afternoon and have you come to the community and walk with me. And talk to some of the people so they can see. Uh, I, I, I go to community meetings all the time. No, I understand that's a photo op that you would like. Not a photo op. Not but, a photo op. But I go to community meetings. Not a photo op. I haven't seen you in my district talking to people. Yeah, I know you talk yeah. to. I you like to talk to. At one o'clock in the morning. Yes, tonight. but we didn't walk around, and I didn't ask you to because that wasn't yeah. the time to do it. That's right. And I think it, it, it would have done less or more damage than good at that time. So yeah. I appreciate you being there. But I want to go when it's safer, when it's people we can talk to. I appreciate you like to go to um, pastors. Uh, in, in my community, that's very helpful. They're not the only people in the community. There's people who want to see you. There's people who want to see that the policing and the leadership of the school of this city is not just for I go one to community meetings all the time. When is the last time you've been to my district in a community meeting? Where was that? Maybe in the last month. I was with the in the 73rd person. Exactly, is what I'm saying. 81st person. The, exactly. First of all, none of those are my district. The 75th person. None of those are my district. None of those are my precincts. Oh. I ask you to come as an invitation today to come to my district, walk and talk to the people. You can either take it or not. Uh, we can talk about another time as well. Unfortunately, and I'm happy that this is moving in the right direction, so I want to thank for the good police work that's going on, like the impact zones, like Operation Crew Cut. But on page six, you talked about preserving the trust as an effective tool. Based on what happened last night, and what we've been trying to say, is that the trust is tremendously eroded. That is a fact that is lost on you and lost on the mayor. And I keep saying, please, let's talk about that issue so that while I, I will not condone what happened, we can prevent it from happening again. Yeah, I'm not talking about a 16-year-old. I agree with that. But we're not going to have one conversation. 16-year-olds should not have guns. 16-year-olds should not be walking around uh, with guns. The young people and, should, not be walk, should not be walking around with guns. In this city. Unfortunately, I'll uh, I understand that. I've gone to the funerals well, where you have not. So I know what they look like. I, I have done a lot about it. We, and what I would like to see in the budget is impact budget zones, just the same way we have impact. The only, see, the only response that we can get is police officers. I like to see more responses. I like to see more budget. I like to see more resources. I like to talk to you about policing the community in a manner that's respectful and get to where you want to go. I am very adamant about getting guns off the, off the street. I co chair the gun violence task force in the city council. We propose some things, thankfully it's been funded, but if we work together, it will be better than if we work at the survey. Councilman, thank you very much. Uh, we have more to get to on